Good afternoon, my name is Shauna Stone and this is Point of View Rally Training. For those that can't make it to a class, inspired by Tonya Gardner and Jenny Burton, who really want to do lots with their wolfhound. So as you can see, I have a novice course set up here. Uh, if you go to AKC Virtual Rally, they have rally maps. This is the novice course number one, if you want to follow along. And you'll see that I'm set up on a tennis court. It is set up pretty wide because we are working with wolfhounds and they're a little bigger. Uh, if you are going in with a large breed, such as a wolfhound or a mastiff, in one of these classes, be prepared for a smaller class because rally judges don't always take our big guys uh, in mind when they're setting up the course. Some do, and I would always note those ones that seem to be a bit big dog friendly. As you can see, I have four corners for my course. So if you are going to be doing virtual rally and earning those titles, I recommend setting that up so you know where your course is and the judges can see where your course is. First, we are going to walk through the course um, as if we were doing what I call a rally dance to double check the course and make sure we understand the signs. So first we have our start sign. Um, this is where you're going to ask your dog to sit and the judge will ask, are you ready? And you say, yes, I am ready. Then you ask your dog to heal. We're gonna walk at a normal pace till we reach to the right of this sign. This sign says slow pace. So make sure, there is a dis sure there's a distinct difference in your pace when you're doing slow pace. The judge needs to be able to see the difference. So to keep your dog from sitting, keep your feet moving, just move them in smaller parts. Now we came to the normal pace. And if you'll watch, and you'll see this in classes as well, all these signs are going to be on my right. If it's a change of direction, it's going to be in front, but you should be performing with the sign to your right. So we're gonna go at a normal pace up to here. Okay, here we see a red stop sign. If you see a red stop sign, that always means sit. For this particular sign, it is a sit. So we're gonna ask our dog to sit, and then we're going to try to turn together left. Then we're gonna to go to our next sign, Offset serpentine left. Anytime you see a serpentine, you're always going to enter on the left. Always. So we're going to go up here. We're going to enter on the left. So dog is on my left and cones are on my left. So you should be performing this together. Sometimes our wolfhounds and big dogs lag a little bit in serpentines. So I like to practice at a faster pace, sometimes having them trot and me trot so that they um, don't always think that they can lag in the class. Don't trot in class. Dog can trot in class. Yourself cannot trot in class, but it's a good way to practice just to get them up for those. So maybe they see that and they start getting a little more excited and not slowing down. So here, the next sign is a 270 right. So that means we're going to take our dog and try and turn as a unit to the right, basically three quarters of a turn. If you can, and it's easier said than done, and it will come with practice, but what you're going for here is when you turn, your feet are basically turning in the size of a dinner plate. Easier said than done sometimes, but that's your goal. This one, we're gonna do a sit. That halt means a sit. And then we're gonna ask our dog for a down. Make sure you're pausing between the sit and the down. Once he is down, then we're going to take our leash and hold it because we always have a leash in Rally Novice. And we're going to hold it above our dog and walk around. Then we're going to stop and we're going to pause before we go forward. Just count to two. Just make sure there's that pause and move forward. Now it's a fi our figure eight, no distractions. When you move up, you will, there will be distractions in a bowl, sometimes food, sometimes toys. Usually they're covered and you can't, dog can't go for it, but they'll see them. They might smell them. Um, you want them to not pay attention to it. That's your goal. So with the figure eight, you can enter at any point. You can enter on the right, you can enter on the left. The goal is you cross that middle part three times. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to the left. So there's one, two, make that other side of the eight, and here's three. Then we're gonna exit and our next sign is at 270 right again. So we're gonna turn as a unit and move forward. Notice this turn has no stop sign. So no stop, no sit. We're just gonna do a simple left turn. 
Okay, here is a 360 right. We're gonna be the right of the sign and we're gonna try and turn together. Remember your dinner plate and then move forward. Moving side step right. You need to make sure this is clear. The goal is that your dog moves with you. At the novice level, it's not gonna happen as often, but as you build your teamwork and you get to know each other and you move up, you will get there and you'll move together nicely. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward. We're gonna take a side step, right? And we're gonna ask our dog to come with, hopefully without pulling on the leash. And then we're gonna move forward. And then we're just gonna loop right. A lot of right turns in this pattern. Then we're gonna turn and go. Here's another sit. So we're gonna ask our dog to sit. Count to three, because there needs to be that pause. He needs to do it, sit, and then move forward. Finish, yay, you're done, woohoo! Uh, you can touch your dog after the finish. I recommend that you don't. You don't want to get in the habit of touching your dog in the ring because that can be a substantial deduction. So next we're going to move forward and bring the dog in the ring. Welcome to the second part of Point of View Rally. This is Rally Novice Course 1 and it, you can find it online at AKC Virtual Rally Novice Signs. This is Novice Sign, Novice Course number 1 and here is Kieran. Kieran has his Rally Advanced. Some days he likes to participate, sometimes he doesn't. So we'll see what happens today. Um, he is a typical wolfhound and so make sure you have your lead uh, rally novice is always on lead and i keep my lead in my right hand the excess so that i can use my hand for signals and or giving treats when uh, necessary during training only there are no treats given during an actual akc class or any other ukc class or anything else karen so we're going to ask for the sit at the start and tell him he's a good boy and give him a treat. Good job. So we can see ahead that our first sign is slow pace. So we're going to step out with our left. Good boy. And then we're going to go slow. So make sure the slow is obvious to the judge. And But you don't want to go so slow they sit. And then we're going to go to normal. And then we're going to ask for a sit because there's a halt there. And give him a treat because he did those good. Did those well. And the goal is for them to turn us to turn left together. So we're going to go like this. And he's cut there. Very nice. I'm going to go forward. Now we have an offset serpentine left. So remember, we're going to go this way and enter on the left. We're going to go together. I'm going to increase my pace a little bit so that he increases his pace and doesn't lag. Good boy. Good. So now we have a 270 right. No stop sign. So we're just going to go and try and get him to turn on a plate. Good boy. Well done. Now we're going to, we see that halt. So we're gonna do a sit. Good boy, and then we're gonna ask for his down. Good boy, good. And tell him stay. Good boy. Now see how I'm holding my lead? I'm not pulling on him so that he doesn't move. He's more advanced so he shouldn't anyway, but it helps if you just keep this loose. And so he shouldn't have sat up there, but so just note um, after he's done do down, so he should be down before we leave. Now remember when you, before you go, you need to stop and pause and count to two or three so that you have that definite pause. It's very visible to the judge. So we've done that. So now we're gonna step out with our left foot and we're gonna do our figure eight. Now remember we can go on either side, but we must cross the, to the left, cross the center. Come on, Karen. Across the center three times. So there's two. Kieran, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Okay, now we have another 270 right. So we're gonna say, Kieran, come on. Heel. Come on. Heel. Good. Now we're gonna go up here. Good. Now no stop sign, so we're just gonna turn left. Good. And make sure we have enough room to do a 360 right. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stop and give him a treat because he deserves it. Well done. Okay, now moving side step. So we're going to make sure we make a big step. And dog should come with unless he's distracted by something. So I tighten my lead. That's not good. So loop right. Good. Now we're going to do a sit. Good, very nice. My slobbery dog. And 
Stepping off with my left heel. And all done. Nice job, Karen. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Okay, same map from the side. So wanted you to see what it looks like with a different dog. And um, from the side, same station, same sign. So here you see Aria. She has her Rally Novice title so far. Working on Rally Intermediate next. Uh, as you can see, she wants to look at my face. So she is not healing as, as straight as she could, nor is she sitting as straight as she could. Um, so something to work on. Entered nicely on the left of the first cone. Um, so the dog is between me and the cone when I enter the serpentine. That is always the rule with serpentine. It should always be on your left. Um, can't see the 270 right that's in the corner there, but she'll be coming up and doing a nice sit and then a down for the sit down stay. And now we'll walk around. Notice I step out with my right foot when I want her to stay. I step out with my left foot when I want her to heal. Uh, if you are consistent in this body language, they will pick up on it very quickly. Dogs communicate more by body language than they do by verbal. So if you use that to your advantage in training, it will help you greatly. You just have to be consistent. Here's the figure eight. I do the left first because she tends to stay with me better if I start on the left. Um, and lags more if I start on the right. I think that is typical of many of our wolfhounds and dogs in general, but that's been my experience. Here we have a nice 270 right, and then we're gonna make a nice left turn. She stays with me, and then we're going to do a 360 right. The 360, she lags here. Uh, not a huge big deal. I'm just going to try and re-engage her. If I'm in class, I'm going to encourage her with my voice. If we're in training, I'll use my voice and some treats possibly. The moving sidestep right. Not much of a, she wasn't with me on that. She needs to be with me. She needs to stay in the same general position when we do that moving sidestep right, other than staying straight. So she kind of needs to make the same step that I do. That's the goal. And that is the first pattern. We're going to do it one more time. Um, and I'm going to ask that you try to pay attention and figure out what the mistakes are here before I call them out. So I'm going to try and give you that opportunity. So we're going to sit at the start line. She's crooked, but it doesn't matter as much right there. Judge will ask, are you ready? And you're going to say yes. I'm going to go. We're going to start with a slow pace. Notice I just shorten my steps for slow pace and then normal pace. I just go at a normal stride length. The stride length indicates what they should be doing. And again, body language, they pick up on it. Did you see that? She's still a little crooked on her sit there. And serpentine on the left. Good. And you see that mistake? That was as much my mistake as anything. I did not give her enough room to get around that cone and we both kind of ran over it. Next we're going to do a 270 right and now we're already up to the sit, which is a good sit. She does a nice down. I'm going to do the walk around, stepped out with the right, kind of exaggerated it there for you. And pause, step out left and head to the figure eight. Nicely around. Probably should give myself a little more room and make that circle a little bigger. It'd be easier for her. She'd probably stay with me a touch better. Next is the 270 right. She curves around me nicely and stays with me. Remember the dinner plate rule. Try to keep your feet in a dinner plate area when you're doing any turns. And nice left. Um, again, lagging on 360, she's seeing something's distracting her, which is not unusual for a sighthound. Something moves, they gotta look. She doesn't understand the concept on, on this move right, but we will work on that. 
Remember, I pay attention. Remember to pay attention to where your dog is. If they're lagging behind, you don't want to accidentally have a tight lead. So be aware of what they're doing so you don't accidentally tighten your lead. Give them a little extra room with your lead if necessary. Okay, here's our last puppy dog. This is Yiggy. He's two years old and still working on it. Rally and obedience are not his favorite, but he is a sweetheart and loves to at least give training a try and hang out. So, not the best sit, so we're going to ask to do it again. We're going to say, tell the judge, we're going to do this sign over. You can always do a sign over at least once. It's better to do a, redo a sign and get points off for redoing it than get no points for doing it completely wrong. That sits much better. He needs to come forward a little bit, but he's at least a little straighter. Not sure what I want when he's turning. He's got a decent heel, and oops, the cone's not fixed. So we're going to go up there and grab that cone, fix it, and then ask the judge to, uh, we're going to say, let's do this sign. I want to do this sign over again, and then... We're going to try and get his attention, and I actually pull on him. Points off there. Then he does a nice job on the serpentine. And then coming up, the nice 270 right there, we're coming up to our last station for this video because he is going to get distracted. Our neighbor is going to come by with his tractor and his field and farm dog, and he is no longer gonna be engaged and he won't be engaged. So I'm just gonna let it go for the day and try again another time. And that's the moral of the Yiggy story. In addition, I highly recommend you get the Pocket Rally app, which is about to see a picture here for that. It is very helpful when trying to figure out a sign when you're at a, a meet. So there it is, that's what it looks like. Um, not something I own, but something I highly recommend, and uh, it's worth the $4.99. Questions, comments, let me know. Happy rallying!